Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today I thought I'd do a book tour of, well, my books, 2021. Um, so we've decorated our room and I finally have a nice new bookcase. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show off my uh, omnibus and hardback collection. So we got X-Men 2, X-Men Classics, Uncanny X-Men 1 to 3, Mutant Massacre, Fall After Mutants, Inferno Prologue, which is going to be an omnibus later in the year. And we are also getting that Inferno omnibus, which I am excited to finally have. X-Men 1, uh, Jim Lee, and 2, Extinguishes Agenda, and it should be Days of Future Present, not Past, but that's what it is. Executioner's Song, Bishop's Crossing, Shatter, Scatter, Shatter Shot, uh, Fatal Attractions, The Wedding of Cyclops, and Phoenix. So we've got a very, very nice full run there. We need a reprint of X-Men 1 as well. I've got grand designs in there because um, I need to jig a few things around because I actually don't have any room already. Uh, so then we have Phalanx Covenant. You feel like they could do an omnibus of that and fill in some of the gaps and take it right up to this and capture the issues in there that we feel were pivotal to this kind of prelude. Uh, Legion Quest, uh, X-Men, The Age of Apocalypse, and The Companion. Uh, that These are both getting reprints this year. Uh, X-Men Avengers Onslaught, that's probably due a reprint, same as Operation Zero Tolerance. So there's a bit of room between this and this that needs a hardback, I feel. And then between this and this, you could probably fit in two, I feel, and Magneto's War. I think that's about right. I think, or you just do one omnibus, I'd, I'd appreciate it either way. Then we got X-Men vs. Apocalypse 12, X-Men Revolutions. Eve of Destruction, and then this is where, in my mind, I'm hoping they dedicate some time from between 2000 and uh, 2010. So I would really like, uh, this is my opinion, Extreme X-Men uh, Omnibus, uh, Chuck Austin, Uncanny X-Men <laughs> Omnibus, much to people's dismay, I thought it was all right, uh, House of M Omnibus, Decimation Omnibus, and then perhaps they should have, um, I don't know, a Messiah Complex Omnibus, I'm not sure. Got, so just going back a few tracks, we've got New X-Men, Astonishing X-Men, House of M. There's four of these books um, which I once had and I sacrificed at one point, which my own thought, um, I probably won't try and get them again as much as I would love to because they go for a stupid amount of money. Uh, Civil War, uh, Messiah Complex, Messiah War, Utopia, Second Coming, Age of X-Men, Schism, and this is where, in my mind, I start to not enjoy the next sort of eight or nine years. There's a few bits in here that I love. Avengers X Sanction, then we got Avengers X-Men versus X-Men, and that's when I felt it was getting a bit off. So moving down to my little, little one, we've got uh, New Mutants, X-Force, Deadpool, and X-Force. And Cape Boy and X Force is the bottom one I'm reading, hence the dust cover being off. Then I've got some Boom Studio stuff. I've got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Year One, Year Two, and they got Shattered Grid and Beyond the Grid, which is just annoying. And then above that, you got the Ben Riley uh, Omnibus, um, which I'm also reading at the moment. And that's Volume Two, by the way. And then just to wrap it on the bottom, you got Avengers versus X Men Companion. Um, I really, I completely missed that the first time around. Um, glad I, I got it eventually because I love the consequences story at the end. Then we got Wolverine and the X-Men, which is a great run. Um, certainly uh, hard to get Omnibus and hopefully gets a rerun. I got a Kenny X-Force because it's a, a split between X-Men and Avengers, much to my dismay. And that leads into the Axis. Terrible storyline. It's okay. It's a terrible story. It's okay. Um, then we got X-Men Legacy Legion, which I absolutely adore. It was a fantastic run around David Haller's character, um, picking up the pieces after his father died because they were, I think, slowly starting to connect just before uh, Xavier's death at that point. Then we've got uh, the all-new X-Men and Uncanny X-Men, which is around the same sort of time as Wolverine and the X-Men and Uncanny 
X4. So you've got a nice selection there, I feel. Um, easily could be put in some sort of omnibus. I've always felt like the all-new X-Men can have an omnibus that takes, takes them right up to the point where they leave. I think you could easily do that in two omnibuses and include Battle of the Atom and the Black Vortex, which is a crossover with Guardians of the Galaxy. Apocalypse Wars, which they, I think they hyped up a bit, but didn't lead to anything. Then we start uh, Jonathan Hickman's run, which is House of X, Powers of X, and we're waiting for that X of Swords uh, book hardback to come out, hopefully in the next couple of months, or in some places perhaps out. And I really hope we see a Dawn of X omnibus, and I'd be comfortable with two omnibuses being released around Dawn of X that collects it all in chronological order because that's the way it should be. And Uncanny X-Force, um, which uh, the first run was out of print, they re-released it, I think, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember now. But it's had a re-release. I'm not sure if it's still available, but certainly a run to get if you like, just want to run. It's good. It's it's a quality read. I really love Deadpool in that run as well. Some great characteristics in development. Then we've got uh, Road to War of Kings, War of Kings. Now, I'm probably thinking, well, why would you buy this? Well, I bought this because uh, the War of Kings has a big piece around the rise of the Shia, uh, rise and fall of the Shia Empire, and a big X-Men presence. And uh, Road to War of Kings has one of my favorite stories, Deadly Genesis. Uh, I guess the, the final uh, Realm of Kings, which is the follow-up to War of Kings, I guess from my point, the only thing that lacked it for me was not to have five miles to the south, which is X Men Legacy, just to wrap up the mutants tale in the in this this cosmic story. We got Wolverine one and we got Wolverine two coming out this year, which I'm very excited for. Long time coming. Then we got Cable X Soldier and Deadpool and Cable. So that wraps up my whole bookcase. And I I meant to do a count of how many books I've got, but well, I didn't do that, so sorry. Um, so thank you for watching. Like, comment, and, and please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. My page is Smurd P. Follow me on Twitter at Smurd P. I'm also on uh, Instagram, Cyclops Smurd. And most importantly, embrace the geekiness, and thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Oh,